M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So we're looking at the Alens HD1, the Retivis RT3S with the new OpenGD77 firmware, which is not from Retivis or TYT. And then we got the classic Anytone 8708 Mark II APRS receive and transmit model, all excellent radios. You can buy the Alens for about 180, the Retivis for about under 100, and the Anytone around 200. So I like each of them for different reasons. You know, the Alens has a very nice looking screen, I think. Uh, and when it receives, it goes green. And when you TX, it goes that nice red color. Any tone, the screen's completely customizable, works really well, APRS, did, they all three do promiscuous mode, uh, VHF, UHF, and um, I'm pretty sure all three have broadcast radio as well. Some funky, funky extra features with the, uh, the firmware from GD, from open gd 77 that i've been playing with that's been quite fun they've got things like satellite and gps last heard the manual dial is really straightforward you just push if you're in memory mode that's memory mode vfo mode memory mode just push hash once that's talk group entry it talks to you as well private call entry contact entry very very easy to use this radio um, or you can go vfo mode you know, you've got receive and transmit frequencies there. You've got a signal meter. You've even got a band scope. Look, there's a band scope there. You can change the parameters of the band, of the band scope as well. If you go menu, last heard, that will be there as well. No problem with using it with a hotspot GPS. The other thing is the power level can be very low on this radio. If you hold down, let's do the shortcut, hold down the button under the PTT. And then do the power. Oops, it's come out. There you go. Four watt. It goes right down to 50 milliwatt. The other thing about that radio is that it will actually act as a hotspot. You go into hotspot mode, which is just menu. Got to remember where that's hidden now. There is a selection here. Probably in. I won't find the actual section now, but it, it, there's a selection there for hotspot and you choose between MMDVM or Blue DV and it actually works with Blue DV software on your mobile phone with the right adapter or your computer just using the, the Retivis, the standard Retivis, you know, cable that you that you get with, you know, for, for CPS programming. So, you know, otherwise, you know, you can buy the radio just with the standard firmware that comes with Retivis with the blue, blue classic screen and that works fine, but you don't get the manual done. There's a lot of options you don't get in there. And I don't think you'll get your um, most of your CSV file in there. You get a much bigger CSV file or contacts file, and also you get Talker Alias with the the new firmware upgrade. But otherwise, I just like I like all three of these radios. Come on, it's like um, if you get one a year. After ten years, you're going to have uh, ten radios. You know, they soon build up and they're inexpensive, and you can still sell them second hand for you know if they cost you two hundred, you'll get one hundred and twenty easily for all of these radios. Keep the box, keep all the bits. And you might get a bit more, so it's great fun. DMR is a great system. Some people say they can't, you know, they don't like DMR, but no, learn it. Program one channel from scratch. That's how you learn DMR. That's how you learn what time slots are, color codes, zones. Uh, I'm not clever knowing that. It's just that I took the time to just sit there and and create one channel. Once you do that, you will understand that DMR is just lots of phone numbers. Everyone's got phone numbers. You know, talk group 921, that's a phone number. Your personal DMR number uh, that you need to, with a ham call sign, that's your phone number. A private number when you go direct. And this, you know, I've just had a private chat with someone on this radio here. It worked great. So uh, um, get into DMR, enjoy it, uh, and just talk talk to the world for sometimes. If you buy a Retivis, £80. So bye for now. 7-3, all the best.